Hello guys, welcome back. Today we have a, well, very, very rare figure here. It is series for the Halo Reach Ma Man. <laughs> the Halo Reach Man. It is series for the Halo Reach. <laughs> Hi, Halo Reach Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like that really cheesy off-brand superhero. <laughs> Halo Reach Man. That's nice. That's nice. So who is this guy? <laughs> this is Barton CQC Ross. That's just the color of his armor. By, uh, well, Halo standard. So is he actually in the game? Uh, well, as a character, no. Unless you apply the armor to Noble Six. But because of Noble Six's... Oh, so this is armor you can apply to yourself in-game? Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's actually Noble Six? Well, yes. Just with so how does his armor compare to the Noble Six? Do we have the Noble Six McFarlane here somewhere? Uh, probably. But we should look. All right, you talk about this, I'm going to go look. All right, so this figure, my God, do I ever love it. With removable shoulder pads and a helmet, it definitely spices up the mix a bit. We're still hunting for the, some of the other series for... We have our eye on Reach Military Police for now, and we're thinking about it, but we don't know yet. I just love the details that Todd McFarlane just sort of puts into his figures. It's amazing. Especially the little UNSC, that's good. That's great, my god. Just look at him, he's, he's detailed. And because we lost the grenade and grenade launcher before you go crazy in the comments, I replaced it with Dutch's Spartan laser because I can't. Because I can. Yeah. Honestly, though, this is one of my figures, favorite figures for a reason. Just look at him. And this is series four of the McFarland line. I found this at Walmart, the website. They could probably have one of these delivered, but I hope you got like. Almost sixty dollars, or maybe seventy, up your pocket if you want to, you know, bag one of these for yourself. It's a very expensive catch, but if you manage to get your hands on one of these things, you may as well have considered yourself the luckiest man alive. We're still trying to build up the collection, obviously, but yeah. Hey guys, we couldn't find it. Couldn't find it, guys. So it's uh, it's not at this location where we're filming. So we can't do a comparison, but maybe we will. Maybe we'll do a comparison shot on Twitter. And you guys can go to Twitter to see how the Noble Six McFarland compares to the CQC armor variation. Ah, uh, a classic Twitter page, the OK Good Review. Yes. Go there. Like it, learn it, love it. Share with your friends. Re retweet it like maniacs. Keeps retweeting. The year, the year twenty five fifty two continues to retweet even re retweet. Oh my god, that sounds weird now. <laughs> yeah, well, Twitter exists in twenty five fifty two when Halo finally rolls around. I don't know. Leave us a comment keep, if they're keep, available. Just keeps chips over. Just keeps retweeting the It'd same thing. Maybe like thing. Halo two hundred fifty six or something like that by then. But by all like two hundred twenty five fifty two is basically the time that like. The events of the first three Halo games happen. Yeah. Just reach. Yeah, it'd be it'd be kind of interesting to fast forward and see if there's actually a plan up at the end, but who knows? We'll be there to see it. So, what? Um, I have a question for you on this. So, was his weapon set the same as Noble Six? Oh Six? no, no. He came with a grenade launcher first of all. Oh okay. And one grenade, and that's all. Okay. Well, you, that's a really cool color for his armor, that rust color. That is, that is pretty neat. You can equip that in the MCC with a full 3D model thing. I have a recon helmet myself with a uh, with attachments on. Because I sort of figured out you could basically go back to Season 1 of the Master Chief Collection and unlock a reach armor, so I didn't. So I wasn't stuck with the Master Mr. Chief helmet. Right. Oh yeah, mind you, I actually have a different channel called Mr. Chief if you want to go subscribe there. Just random Gmod videos. 
Yes, guys, if you go to our About section, uh, you can find a link to that, to, to Leo's separate uh, yeah, YouTube channel page there. And I should probably get around to putting the one where I do eat incredibly spicy stuff on there, too. Maybe, maybe I will do that. Guys, uh, you can check the About section or the link pages or whatever it is. I'll dig into it. By the time this posts, you should be have something to look for, maybe, hopefully. Just what a beautiful... It's a thought. Overall, just a, a beautiful figure, honestly. Yeah. Like, Let's take a look at him. There you go. His shoulder pads are extremely loose, though. He's got arrows so it, it can show him which way he's supposed to mount these shoulder pads so that they go down. <laughs> Why are there arrows pointing down? Can he not figure this out otherwise? Do they just think Smartens are dumb Oh my something? god, that is hilarious. Well, actually, maybe that's for the employees. The employees that are busy equipping their weapons? Oh, there's a knife, and the knife doesn't come out of the knife. The knife and the shoulder pad are the same. That's, uh... That was, I, I tried that, believe me. That was a little hinky there. Paint details are really, really good. The joints, though, are weak. Like, these are, see, these are floppy joints already. Oh, I almost thought he had like a lightning skull thing on the back here, but no, it's that's not it. It's other stuff. I actually have the Spartan CQC helmet in Reach. Though I never equip it, I still go with Recon. That that one just looks the coolest. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely we'll have to get a side by side of these uh, up on Twitter so you guys can check it out to see what the difference is if it's just the coloration or if there's other differences as well. Honestly, this is just a beautiful figure, and like all other McFarlane toys, they do an excellent job of detailing. You know what's interesting here, though? Because it looks like these visors are supposed to flip back. Because it looks like there's a hinge right there, right? Oh, oh yeah. Doesn't it, doesn't it look like a hinge? Yeah. Also, but but if you look at the show, the TV show, oh. they always, 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 always just take the entire helmet off. Like a one-piece thing. There's a see. hole here, right? If you're wondering, you basically could put a belt here. Oh, you have like a grenade belt or something? Yeah, this is basically sort of the standard variation of the armor. You could do a random pop and swap with another figure you have, if they have other armor. Huh, that's cool. And then can, is there stuff that goes on his legs too, I guess? Like side arms or something? Yeah. You wouldn't believe how much the Noble team at this, at the McFarlane costs. Like, probably a few hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah, unlike the uh, Spartan Collection Noble Team, which hasn't even come out fully. Well, yeah, but they're, they're, that's the newer toys versus the older ones. Also, the details are a little bit better on the McFarlane. I mean... They're just, they're rare now. You just take a glance at the Spartan and just... You honestly have to appreciate the effort and the detail that went into this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of... There's a lot of cool stuff to those. I just don't. I think the joints are just bad, though. They're they're weak. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. It's like an it's like a I, what ten year old figure. Well, eleven years old now, but that uh, even even still, I mean, there's other like I've gotten uh, Marvel figures and that are older than that, and you can by the way go to the action figures playlist to see some of those, or my office collection playlist to see some of those, and the joints are still fine. On, on those particular ones. But then if you look at like Sentry, Sentry, even when he was new, his joints were garbage. So it just it just really is odd. Like so, sometimes you just get stuff that is, the joints are just bad. And all the McFarland stuff, that's like been the one commonality I think between them is that the joints have just been not very good. And the legs get really floppy. But if you're not, I mean, I think those are, I really think those are more supposed to be for displays rather than actual action figures. Because I don't think that they... I think you're just supposed to pose them and then let them sit on a shelf and collect dust or whatever. I don't know if they necessarily meant for them to be played played with particularly. I think the Spartan Collection is a lot more durable in that respect. But... The target for this, though, I don't know if it's actual people who play with action figures, though. That's the... I'm not sure who the actual target audience for these is, other than Halo fans, which I guess could be almost anyone. Like, I still think it's awesome because, like, if you had an Emil figure, or if you had, like, a figure like that, you could basically just sort of rip some random body. Okay, that sounds really messed up now that I'm saying. 
<laughs> you can make a Franken <laughs> Frankenstein Reach guy. Yeah, basically. Halo Reach a, man. A a Frank. That's who Halo Reach man is. He's a he's a, he's a Frankenstein man with everybody's different parts. <laughs> Halo Reach Man is Spartan CQC, but with all of Noble Team's armor just sort of incorporated nice. in there. Reach is the one where you don't regenerate health, right? Actually, you do. Oh, which one's the one where you don't? Um, is it four or three or something? Are you sure it's not Reach? One of those you don't regenerate health, right? When you get hit. Oh, yeah, that's Combat Evolved you're thinking of. CE, you don't generate health? One of those halos you don't generate health. I thought that was Reach. I hate that, by the way. I like to use I like to use my getting throwing in there and throwing out some health and getting pounded. I like to use that as part of my battle strategy. <laughs> I don't like to use cover. But honestly, if you had another Reach figure, you could basically do a random and a pop and swap with this guy. Like, well, you've got some of the other like Reach figures. Like replace you can do it with that target, the the Reach target guy. I mean, the Spartan target guy. That wasn't Reach. That was Halo 3. Yeah, but can, you can still... The, the armor doesn't fit. Oh, it doesn't? It's specifically limited to Reach Spartan figures. Oh, really? You tried it? Yes. Oh. Well, shame on me then. Alright, so you could like replace like the CQC helmet with the Gungnir helmet. This shoulder pad with, I don't know, Carter's Commando shoulder. Hmm. Maybe like... This one with the ODST. Gungnir belt. Nice. Maybe something like that. Yeah, but basically you could just randomly pop and swap different figure parts. Because the shoulder pads are actually mountable. Mm, I say that. Yep. Yeah. Alright, you want to... Oh, so this guy doesn't stand. We, we would normally do a pose for you, but this guy, like I said, doesn't stand very well. That's why he was sitting. But, so he's uh, just going to do the high saying that he has technical issues. Yeah. <laughs> Come back later. So here it is, it's the on Xbox Live. the McFarland Halo Reach Man Spartan CQC <laughs> action figure. Well, Reach Man, we haven't Frankenstein him enough yet. <laughs> That'll be on Twitter too if we do. Uh, hopefully you guys dug our look at this. If you did, please give us a little thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button. If there is a blue notification bell and comments available, please feel free to utilize those if you care to do that. Whether or not, please go follow our Twitter feed where updates the channel. As uh, I've already mentioned, or maybe by myself, but there is also Twitter exclusive content. That was the part I mentioned, not the other part. Listen to what I mean, not what I say, guys. Right? Okay. So if you use Twitter, come follow us there. We'd love to have you. But one more time for the world. Hello, hello there. I am Spartan CQC. McFarland. We are having technical difficulties. Sorry, we cannot pose for you right now. <laughs> Call this number. Beep. McFarland. Halo. Reach Man. Spartan CQC. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so awesome. But the Reach Man part. I mean, dude, you have to take the Reach Man part out. We haven't Frankensteined him yet. Yeah, that's true. I just love it. I love it. I overly love it. But anyway, guys, we'll see you for the next one. The, over, the overly love it fact is true. Very true. It's a confirmed fact. Bye-bye.